Hey guys, today we're going to make a delicious sea bass and truffle dish. First I'm going to show you how to fillet a wild sea bass. Then I stuff it with a truffle farce and cover it completely with truffle slices. I'm also making a sherry sauce and a mashed potato brandada. So, let's begin! First we're going to fillet the sea bass. This is a beautiful wild sea bass that weighs 2 kilograms. Now I always cut the fins off. As you can see these are pretty pointy and sharp, so be careful. Then make an incision at the belly and cut it open. Now remove the intestines. After that, descale it. I always do this under running water, because as you can see, it will get messy. Just use the back of your knife and gently remove the scales. Then make an incision behind the fin on both sides and cut off the head. Once that's done, cut the belly bones off the belly. Make an incision and then cut them off. When that's done on both sides, use your whole blade to follow the bones all the way to the other side. Then cut the fillet off and do the same on the other side. Keep the bones and head for the sauce. Now cut the belly off and keep that for the potato brandade. Then use a strong tweezer to remove the remaining bones. Then make an incision on the thin side of the fillet and pull the skin tight. Meanwhile use a long sharp knife to cut the skin off. Now keep the clean fillets in your fridge for later. Then the sherry sauce. First remove both eyes from the head, these are very bitter. Now also remove the gills, these are very bitter as well. The remaining bones you can cut in smaller pieces and then transfer everything into a saucepan. Now let some cold water run on the bones for around 5 minutes. Then remove a little bit of the water. Add a drizzle of vinegar and bring this to a simmer on a medium heat. The vinegar will help with clarifying the broth. Meanwhile cut a leek to the middle and wash it well on the cold water. Now cut it. Then cut one onion in half and clean it. Cut it as well. Once the broth is simmering use a small ladle to remove any solid egg whites that float on top. Then add 8 coriander grains to the broth together with 8 black pepper grains, 1 bay leaf, 1 clove of garlic that's cut in half and the chopped vegetables. Now let it simmer for 45 minutes. After that use a ladle to pass the fish broth through a fine sieve. Be gentle to ensure it stays beautifully clear. Now let's turn the broth into a delicious sauce. Add half a liter of cream to the broth together with 250 grams of a white cherry and then reduce this for 60%, leaving you with 40%. Now transfer it into a saucepan and add 100 grams of creme fraiche. Blend it with a hand blender to emulsify it and to create a beautiful foam. Keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the brandade. Season the sea bass belly with some salt and drizzle some oil on top. Bake it at 230 degrees celsius for 15 minutes. Meanwhile peel 3 big floury potatoes and cut them in smaller pieces. Now transfer them into a pan and cover it with cold water. Then season with a generous amount of salt and boil them till cooked. Once cooked, drain the potatoes and let them steam dry for at least 5 minutes. After, when still hot, use a ladle to press the potatoes through a fine sieve. I have 500 grams of cooked puree. Now mix 200 grams of cream with 100 grams of butter and bring this to a boil. Then slowly while stirring add the boiling liquid to the potato till it's an even smooth puree. After, take the sea bass belly from the oven and add it to the potato puree. Mix it and then when necessary season with salt. Now for the black truffle coulis. Mix 30 grams of defrosted frozen winter truffle with 10 grams of a dark ponzu, 50 grams of vegetable broth, 2 grams of salt and 3 grams of squid ink. Now blend this till smooth. After that keep it in your fridge for later. Then back to the sea bass. Take the fillets and cut the thin side off. Now transfer 130 grams of the trimmings into a blender together with 3 grams of salt, 2 egg yolks, 60 grams of butter and 20 grams of the truffle coulis. Blend this till smooth. Keep an eye on the temperature of the fish. The friction will start to heat it up and you want to keep it cool. When you feel it becomes warmer, directly add 50 grams of cream and then stop mixing. Now transfer the farce on a fine sieve and press it through using a dough scraper or a pot scraper. Then transfer it into a piping bag that's fitted with a big round nozzle. Now lay some plastic wrap on your worktop and put the sea bass fillets on top. Season them on both sides. Then pipe the farce on one of the fillets and put another fillet with the big side to the thin side on top. Now roll this up as tight as possible. Then use the sides to make it even tighter and make a knot on both sides. 
After that, make an ice bath and let the fish set for one hour. The ice bath will ensure you'll end up with a nice round fish with no dent from laying it down and not letting it float. After that, the truffle. I always keep my truffles with some risotto rice and some eggs. The rice will absorb any liquid and prevent your truffles from turning mushy. Both the eggs and rice will also get a wonderful truffle flavor. Now cut a black truffle in thin slices. Here I sliced 80 grams. Then lay the truffle slices on a piece of plastic wrap in a big triangle. After, lay the sea bass in the middle and roll it up nice and tight. Take your time, because you don't want to damage the beautiful truffle. Now use the sides to make it as tight as possible, just like we did before. Then steam it at 65 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. You can also cook it sous vide for the same temperature and the same time. If you want to serve it straight from the oven, steam it for 30 minutes. Then transfer it into an ice bath and let it set for at least 3 hours. Now we can start to finish the dish. First we'll need to slice the sea bass. For this make sure to use a very sharp and long knife. Make long slices and really let your knife do the work. Then transfer the slices on a metal tray and remove the wrap. Cover it with foil and heat it up at 70 degrees Celsius for around 20 to 25 minutes. Meanwhile we can prepare the maitake mushrooms. First portion them into the desired size. Just pull them apart. For this you don't need a knife. Then add a drizzle of oil to a hot pan and pan fry the maitake with some salt for seasoning. Once they start to color, add a nut of butter and pan fry them for another 2 minutes. Now place a dot of the brandade in the middle of a plate and put the sea bass on top. After that put the maitake mushrooms on the sea bass. Drizzle some of the truffle coulis around and then finish it off with the sherry sauce. Okay guys, that's it for today. I'm super happy with the result. The sea bass looks absolutely incredible with all the truffle and the truffle farce in between. I mean, I can't wait to dig in. Sauce is also very nice and the, the potato puree with the belly of the sea bass. Yeah, that's just super comfort food. It's very delicious, very creamy. So let's just dig in. Mm. That's incredible. That's so delicious. Mm. A couple of you already asked me if the truffle wasn't going to be too overpowering, but I think it's perfectly balanced with the potato puree. The sauce is, is incredible. And I also think that when you order a truffle dish, it needs to taste like truffle. Uh, you can still taste the sea bass. Uh, it doesn't overpower any of the, any of the other ingredients. Um, but you can still taste truffle. So it's not like you order a, a truffle pasta. There's like five slices on top and you don't even taste it. So it tastes like truffle, but I think it's really nice, uh, nicely balanced. So super happy with the result. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share and subscribe for more amazing recipes and culinary content. And as always, bon appetit!